Welcome to this training lesson on use of the Hornet's M61A2 20mm cannon against ground targets. Mounted in the nose of the aircraft, it can be loaded with up to 578 rounds and has a firing rate of either 4,000 rounds or 6,000 rounds per minute. When you need precise fire against unarmed or lightly armed targets, the gun can be a great choice. I currently have the lesson paused so we can talk about the gun system in AG use. Press spacebar to continue. Confirm that the master arm switch is already set to arm and set the master mode to AG for air to ground or press 2. On the left DDI, we see that we have 578 rounds loaded, master arm switch is set to arm, and that we have a clean aircraft. Next to push button 11, we have the AG gun selection. Go ahead and press it. We are now looking at the AG gun format page on the left DDI. On this page, we can select the gun mode, round type selection, rate of fire, and UFC entry for manual mode. Along the left side of the page, we see that we have mode options of continuously computed impact point or CCIP and manual or man mode. CCIP is boxed, indicated it is the active mode. We'll come back to this soon. Below the mode selection on push buttons 1 and 2 are selections for either M50 or PBU-28 gun rounds. The selection here should match what was selected for the aircraft in the mission editor. You can keep this as is. Along the bottom left of the page are selections for a high rate of fire of 6,000 rounds per minute or a low rate of fire of 4,000 rounds per minute. Note that gun is boxed with a ready indication in the top right portion of the page, meaning the gun will fire when you pull the trigger. Press spacebar to continue. Let's shift our look to the HUD now, which is in AG gun CCIP mode. The most important element of the AG gun HUD is the CCIP gun reticle near the center of the HUD. When showing valid range, it acts as a death dot. You simply fly to place the pipper over the target and fire when the in RNG queue is displayed. Surrounding the pipper dot is a 50 mil reticle composed of tick marks each representing 1,000 feet of slant range. As you get closer to the target, a range tape will unwind counterclockwise around the reticle from 23,000 feet to zero feet. Inscribed inside the reticle will be a line that indicates the current range to the spot under the reticle pipper. Inscribed outside the aiming reticle is the AG gun maximum range. When the current range line is less than the maximum range cue, the in range will be displayed and you can fire the gun with great accuracy. Press spacebar to continue. Also on the AG gun HUD is a horizontal bar with what appears to be upturned wings on the end. This is the pull-up cue, and this is there to advise you of potential ground collision. It is not a weapon fragmentation warning. When the velocity vector is below the pull-up cue, the break X will appear on the HUD. Along the right side of the HUD is your selected AG gun mode. In this case, CCIP in the selected weapon and number of rounds remaining. Okay, too much talk, not enough BERT. Let's try this out and then we'll talk about the manual mode. Press spacebar to unpause and kill some helpless trucks. Ahead of you at waypoint one is a group of target trucks in the center of an abandoned airfield. The targets are also marked with a gate and red smoke, impossible to miss. As you get closer to the target group, descend on the target and place the CCIP gun pipper over one of the trucks and squeeze the trigger to fire the gun. Once you've destroyed one, we'll discuss manual mode. Altitude, altitude. Good job, Annie Oakley. When you're ready to talk about the AG gun in manual mode, level your wings and press spacebar. I've re-paused the mission so we can discuss AG gun in manual mode. If you are not already there, go back to the AG gun format page on the left DDI. Press spacebar when ready to continue. First, select manual mode by pressing push button four on the left DDI. Most of this will look the same from the CCIP mode, 
but we now have a UFC legend next to push button 14. Go ahead and press it. We will now enter a milliradians or mills setting for the fixed gun sight on the HUD. You can use a manual mill setting sight, much like a fixed World War II bombing sight, or what you find on older aircraft like the F5E. On the top option select window, RTCL is displayed, short for reticle. Press the option select button to the left to select it. When selected, a colon will appear to the left of RTCL. Now use the UFC keypad to enter a mill value between 0 and 270 and press enter. Try 10. Upon doing so, the AG gun reticle and pipper will be adjusted to a fixed location on the HUD. The AG gun mode and mill setting will be displayed on the right side of the HUD, and the mill setting will appear to the right of the RTCL indication on the AG gun format page. Press spacebar when ready to unpause the lesson and try this out. Press escape when you are ready to end the lesson.